Mission log. I spent a few hours here at the castle deliberating on the best possible way to take it. I've uh, decided just to go with a simple firing line and bring them all to us. So hopefully that's going to work out quite well. Right, Preston, you ready? Battle plan. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. Now, if we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Well, I think the best way is to draw them out. We can pick them off one by one, then, quite possibly. Using yourself as bait. I like these dangerous games you're playing. Sounds good. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Hey, Kate, you're with me. As always. Use clear at the courtyard, we'll head in. I told you to take the courtyard. Comfy seats I've got here. What is it? Let's go see what that noise was. No, 
Right, let's get up top and clear it out. All right, good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio and see what they do. The rest of you, clear out any remaining mile or eggs you find. Take every shot, go! Well, that was interesting. Right, head this way. Almost done. Seems to be the last patch over here. That's the bit. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else is left around this old place. For so long, I just. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started, bring the whole Commonwealth together, and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. I'll let you know if I hear any settlements that you can go. Right, okay. Well, let's get going then, Kate. So getting more troops into this place so just in case don't really want to be losing it just after we've taken it and Preston doesn't exactly have a lot of men there
Right, so... If we head up, we can call in a cab at house before heading up to Slog, and then we'll come over to Mystic Pines. deal with the mechanist. So We are going to have to come back at some point and hopefully clear out these buildings around. So we want to head this way. Not sure, we've got more here. Gone down. Right, we want to be heading this way. stop. We stick to the the coast, then we should be able to avoid quite a bit. Should be able to avoid most of the, the raiders and super mutants, I would think.
Well, let's just keep going. I'll try and keep it in the water as much as possible. No, I don't want to go this way, I want to go over here. Follow this road here. We should reach Cabot House. It's just here. No, nope. a bit further on now. Ah, here we are. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. 
She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't. So did you find out what happened to the courier? What else is Edward for if not to keep the family? Yeah, some raiders are pushed off. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Yeah, there was only one veil left of Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. I can't Kate. See what might be happening to Imogene right now. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, I guess I'll start in Good Neighbor then. Well, let's get going. Just keep going. I'm not intending to hide. Just avoid you. Quick, 
playing games and come out where I can see it. Right, here we are. needs to make a living after all. Well, let me look what you got. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Don't need shall we? Serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Oh, well, I'm not drunk, so. Huh? Huh? Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your blood out to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not hey, anymore. Sister, how are you? So why don't you How's take your coming? girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you've never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Bards. It must have been crazy challenging a cock like that. Right on the street. <sighs> We're all paying for it now. Down another gun. Everyone's gonna have to step up next time we get this hit. Hey, I got you, man. I know worse. Would you see Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. No. I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Oh, Chris. Help me, help me, rescue my heart. Save me, save me. God, I love this song. Boy. Take me, take me, baby. I'm sure you got the cure. You got the cure. Do you know Imogene Cabot? My name is Isabel. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Where? What? You need something to take the edge off? Hmm? Red What's Elf. the matter, Hansel? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Oh, no, I, I didn't make the song. Never heard it before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? 
Sure, I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Do you know where I can find her? I guess that depends on why you're looking for her. I'm trying to help her. Do you know where she is or not? No need to get impatient with me. I just don't consider it polite to gossip to any stranger who walks into the club. What? Not even the muscles like mine? Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Something I can do for you, handsome? But nothing, I'll leave it for now. Don't be a stranger. What are you talking to me like that, Kate? Hey. Entertainments down the stairs. Right. It's a place I'm thinking of. We've already been there before. I believe it is. Remember that place? If it's the place I'm thinking of. It's the place that tried to get us to give up all of our possessions. We should show them the error of their ways. As daylight, what'd you expect, Kate? Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. 
step right this way and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Look, the last guy who gave me the sales pitch ended up dead. I'm only looking for Imogene Cabot. Where is she? Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... You know... Romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but... She and I are just having a little... Relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. What do you mean she's not seeing anybody until she cools off? Just remember, I killed the last guy who was running this scam. We could always start by ripping your damn arms off. Uh, good, good to know. Let me just unlock the door for you, okay? Uh, good idea. Go on then. Go on. She's all yours, neighbor. We don't have anything to talk about. You can't turn there. It's not the end here. We don't have anything to talk about. She's not here. Where is she? We don't have anything to talk about. Do you think tonight's show is sold out? <sighs> right. Yeah, you're right, it won't be you.
Alright, we want to get across to Mystic Pines, I think, now. Head up to the slog got another point. Starting to get dark, so let's get going. Didn't really want to be caught out in the open. the best way. It's just directly north. Here we are finally.
There's Jess. It would be my pleasure to assist you, sir. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will you want to track down the mechanists? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We don't have a choice. It claims that we we need it to access the mechanist facility. How foolish of me. It makes perfect sense that the mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Something now, but your personality personality helps you think creatively. I always considered my personality to be a burden, but I suppose I've been looking at it incorrectly. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Let's hope so. Well, there we go. Interesting. This party you selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. What kind of body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know? and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? Absolutely. It's my primary directive, the Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. 
Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people. Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Well, can we just stop the pecky, petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the mechanist facility? I promised to answer your questions, and unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Difficult to say the least. Is there any chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? I need to modify a robot to gain access. Jezebel uploaded the plans, plans for something called an MSAT. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? Well, the mechanism is a real threat, I'll always see one of us walking away from this one. I won't disagree, but it may be beneficial to discover motive and reasoning first. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Would you allow me to assist you on this mission? Maybe later. I understand. I am ready and willing if you change your mind. Right. Okay. Time to have a rest first, I think. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. YouTube is showing a couple of videos that you might like. Comment down below. Remember to give a big thumbs up. And subscribe. Bye! Bye.